good day everyone and welcome to Adventures with Parker. <laughs> Today we are at Fear Farm just outside of Kitchener, Ontario. This is a <laughs> so much chaos already. <laughs> this is a haunt that I've been wanting to visit for many many years now but I just never got around to it and this year I uh, finally had a day where I could make the trip up. I mean it's not far from where I am. It's only about a 30 minute drive from where I live so surprised it took me this long to get here but we made it. Anyways, this place has a few different haunted mazes, there's a hayride, there's a bunch of scare actors everywhere, so I'm really excited to explore it all and check it out. So without any further ado, let the Fear Farm adventures begin. <laughs> Okay, can I get you to step back right to the edge of the concrete? Don't step on the torches. That's fine. Yeah, that's perfect. I just want to keep you safe. Okay, guys, get your phones out for this. Um, get a video of this. I'll tell you when to press record. I'll put my hand up like this. Because um, if uh, if you post it on Instagram and you tag at Steve Goodtime, all one word, Steve Goodtime, uh, if you post it, tag me, um, it enters you in a raffle. Yeah, yay. Yeah. And you'll actually win um, me sleep you on your couch for a week. Woo! <laughs> oh! Woo! When it's time to party, we will party hard. Going, don't stop it for anything. Let's try to have a good time. We're allowed to have a good time. Here we go. Everybody scream. Scream for me. Alright, just get me up here before they notice. Under the thighs. Yep. Yep, yep. Yep. Oh, 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 Ryan, watch your thumb. <laughs> um, yay! <laughs> oh, I'm way too old for that bit. I'm so tired. Where did I go? I don't know. I kind of blacked out by the end of it. <laughs> Devin, can you pass me the guitar in the coolest way possible without throwing it? <laughs> Someone threw it once and it was really scary. <laughs> nice, you guys. A little love, a little love. Not too much love, it's still my show. But... <laughs> okay, oh good, it's getting windy now. Steve, Steve. All right, let go of the box. <laughs> Don't laugh. All right, uh, gentlemen, you guys have been great. Did you guys have a good time in the show? Great time. <laughs> Either one of you are going to beat me up after this? <laughs> no, thanks. Are you going to tip me 50 bucks at the end of this? <laughs> ah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, Devin, can you take a step over here? Let's put the torches. Got to light them. Got to get them lit, just like me. <laughs> My name's Steve Goodtime. You've been an absolute great time. Uh, I have an encore trick for you after this, so stick around. Well, let's finish this one strong. Clap, 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 clap. Come on, make some noise. 
Thanks, guys. Thank you. Whoa, whoa. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Devin, are you ready to catch? Yeah, behind you. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. Jump. Catch it. Uh. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> 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 Told you I'm not very good at this. <laughs> That's my show. That's everything I've got. Thank you so much for watching. Woo! to head into our first maze of the night which is carnival and i kind of like how the indoor mazes are kind of in these like barn shed like structures it's very cool very uh very much in the theme of it being a fear farm <laughs> All right, I just survived my first maze, Carnival, and it was great. I mean, it was kind of like your classic, you know, evil clown sort of setup, but uh, no, it was a good one to start out with. I uh, got some good scares in there, and the set design was pretty good. I mean, it has more of a like, kind of like a homemade quality to it, not, not in a bad way at all. You know, you're not getting like the 1810 kind of budget, but for what this place probably has to work with. It's it's amazing. And some of the animatronics in there, like towards the end, there's this huge thud animatronic that lunges out at you. It is so freaky and so cool. But uh, yeah, we're off to a great start right away. Had a million dreams and goals. I had a million nickels and dimes. Oh, yeah. 
Found a reason that I know I had a million nickels and dimes. It's cause I counted them one million times. <laughs> So this one I'm in a corn maze pretty much all by myself. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> the moon is so bright tonight. Wow. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> all right, so I waited an absurd amount of time for that one, but you know what? It, it was worth it. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do everything here today, but you know what? It, that one was that one was really good. I mean, I love the uh, mazes that are set in a cornfield. They're so much fun. And this one like wasn't an actual maze, but you were like going in and amongst the cornfields for quite a while. It was a long, long maze. And there was a few parts where you're going into like sheds and stuff. And I didn't have the camera on the entire time. So I missed a few really key scares in there, but, but there were some awesome setups with animatronics that really got me. I wish I had the camera on for those, but that was a fun one. Uh, I'm glad I did that one. Again, very long wait. I think I waited close to an hour for that one, but if you're gonna wait for one, I think that'd be one of the ones you should wait for. All right, the next maze we're gonna do is the visitors, which appears to be their alien themed maze. Looks pretty cool. I'm excited to check this one out.
I don't think I've screamed that much in a maze, like, ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that, that was so good. <laughs> the sets in that one were definitely, like, on another level. I mean, I can't. That, 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 that was great. Again, I love how they're using a good mix of animatronics and actors here. <laughs> my heart rate. <laughs> Okay, so while we're over here, I think the next maze to do would be the Hiller House. Thankfully, the line doesn't look too long for this one, so I might be able to get in one more maze after this. I'm starting to run short on time. I think we only have an hour left until uh, the event closes, but um, you know, if I do this one and maybe I can squeeze in one more, that, that's not too bad. That's five out of six of the mazes offered, so can't complain about that. Okay, this is cool, kind of a classic haunted house vibe. Oh, pff, there's a wall. Right into a wall. Oh, blast of air, blast of air, did not like that. That was Hiller House. That was that was an interesting one. I don't think it was exactly what I was expecting it to be, but pretty cool. I liked how it kind of went from, you know, like a regular like haunted abandoned house to more of that like crypt style. So yeah, that, that was a fun little journey. And conveniently it dumps us right out by this food truck. And 
And of course, it wouldn't be a haunt without a nuker. All right, so at this point in the night, there's only two attractions. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so this one in the night, there's only two things left to do, and that is the Hillbilly Hitchhiker Maze. I might be butchering the name there. And the Hayride. And I really, really want to do the Hayride, so I want to prioritize that and head over there right away. This headless version was from a nun in 1332, and she disappeared the day after she turned to saw. Do you remember there are so many ways to was the first death by electric chair in 1890. He was accused of killing eight people in the woods beside his farm. He blamed the horseman. No one believed him and he was killed in the chair.
Huntsman still hunts for his head. There is in the church. And that was the Haunted Hayride, which was really, really good. It was a lot better than I was expecting it to be, actually. So, yeah, it's definitely a must-do here at Fear Farm. And I love the way they combine the live actors with the um, animatronics. I love how there was an overall narrative that connected each scene. It was just really well executed, and I am so glad that I got to do it. Okay, and now we are finishing off the night with our last maze, the Hillbilly Hike, which looks to be on this trail in the woods which uh, already has me feeling a bit unsettled. Ah! <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I'm really loving these outdoor mazes. Um, yeah, the way that they use nature to their advantage is uh, pretty good. And as you saw there, and there's also some great spooks. Oh, what's this? Did not expect that. <laughs> oh, what's in this shed? Oh, oh, okay, it's one of these. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh, now where do I go? Oh, this way. Okay. <laughs> Too good. He did tell me not to look behind and I completely ignored his warning. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Well, good thing there's some washrooms readily available. Oh no, there's a fork in the road. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, this is a dead end. No? Okay. Dead end! Okay, <laughs> <laughs> this way maybe? No. <laughs> Dead end again. Why are you following me? I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hi. Hello. <laughs> and we made it out. Mostly alive. Okay, that one was good. Like I said, I liked how it was like a completely outdoor maze and I like how it actually ended with a maze with dead ends and everything. You don't really see that in a lot of ponds. So yeah, I thought that one was pretty fun and different. So yeah, very cool. <laughs> All right, and that is going to do it for my first ever visit to Fear Farm. This place has been hyped up to me for like quite a long time now, and I'm happy to say it pretty much lives up to the hype. I mean, all of these mazes are so unique and so interesting. They make a good use of actors, animatronics, and sets. Like everything just comes together to create some really cool and very interesting stories. As I said earlier, a lot of the mazes have this very like handmade quality to them and i want to clarify by that i do not mean that they are cheap looking like they are actually really great looking sets but you can tell that a lot of work and a lot of heart went into them i also think that the event makes good use of the fact that it's on a farm like the corn one was really good the hayride was great uh, the hitchhiker one in the woods was pretty cool and i mean i always say this at every haunt i go to but the scare actors are the heart and soul of these events and here at fear farm they do such a good job like they are so fun um both both like within the mazes and you know out in like the public areas all the other like scare actors i mean there's no real scare zones here like kind of anywhere that's not a maze is pretty much a universal scare zone but yeah everyone here just did such a great job and it's just a really cool atmosphere that they create here the only thing i didn't like about the event is that tonight was very busy now mind you it's a friday it's halloween weekend this is a time when haunts get exceptionally busy and it was very much felt today. There was one point where I was waiting for the stalking dead maze and it was taking like over an hour to get into that maze. And I was thinking to myself, I'm gonna leave here having only done two or three things. But thankfully around 10 o'clock, things started to die down and I ended up getting everything else done very quickly. So um, yeah, I got to do everything I wanted to do and it was a very full and complete visit. So I'm very grateful for that. And yeah, like, this is a great event. I, I definitely need to come back next year. This has to be part of my, you know, annual traditions as far as haunt goes. And yeah, overall, I'm leaving this place very happy with my visit. Um, I had such a great time. So Fear Farm, you're great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me in today's spook venture. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more adventures from theme parks, attractions, and beyond, you might want to consider becoming a subscriber. You can also follow me on social media. I'm at ADB Parker on Instagram, Twitter, and Threads, and at Adventures with Parker on Facebook and TikTok. As always, big shout out to my patrons for all the extra support you guys give me. If you would like to support the channel for as little as a toonie a month in exchange for some sweet perks and bonus content, you can learn more by visiting patreon.com slash advparker. Once again, thank you so much for joining me and happy Halloween! Until next time, the spook ventures are calling. <laughs>